So we've had some people say that since we're having a big break in the monsoon that it's going to be a weak monsoon and drier than normal. The answer to that is false. Right now we are feeling some of the lingering effects of El Nino across the area. El Nino is long gone, but some of the energy in the atmosphere is causing westerly winds during the beginning of our monsoon. But that does not mean that the monsoon is going to be weak or drier than normal. In fact, I expect after the 20th of July a substantial amount of moisture to make it into the area. And we're going to end July with normal to slightly above normal rainfall, which is about an inch to an inch and a quarter of rain uh, over the, the Phoenix area. And uh, then we're definitely going to see above normal rainfall in August and above normal rainfall in September as well. So again, uh, looking like a good and strong monsoon season, just because we're having a long dry break does not mean that the monsoon is not going to be uh, well worth it across the area. I'm still thinking we're going to see a very decent monsoon this summer and it's going to leave late across the area, arrive early and leave late across the region. So. Um, that's the type of year I'm looking at uh, in terms of our monsoon rainfall. Rain really looks like it's going to start picking up after the 25th of July through the rest of the month. And as we head through the first half of August, it looks to be rather active across the area uh, with several uh, bouts of thunderstorms and flooding rainfall concerns across the region, as well as some, some more severe weather events like we saw earlier in this year's monsoon season so far. So again, hang on, uh, hang on, ladies and gentlemen. The monsoon is coming back full force. You're going to come in like a lion after the 20th and we are gonna get soaked across the region. So we'll talk to you guys all later and keep you updated on the monsoon's progression as it returns in a couple of weeks. Talk to y'all later.